my dear viewer and listener, it is another opportune moment that God has granted us to learn under his feet. I welcome you to our today's presentation entitled Comprehensive Definition of Poverty. For us to address and even readdress the problem of poverty, we've got to understand what poverty is all about. Before we proceed, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to define what poverty is all about for our own good in order to know how to readdress the problem of poverty in, in Africa and also in the rest of the world. For this is a humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, it is very important for us to define what poverty is. In our today's lesson, we are going to interact with the four definitions of poverty. I hope you will be blessed in order to know how to readdress the problem of poverty. The first definition of poverty, my dear viewer and listener, we commonly know as a lack of basic human wants. Poverty is a state of want and refers to a situation in which one lacks material possessions or financial means and is unable to live a decent life. Poverty level may be abject or relative. When uh, we have abject poverty or destitution, this refers to a condition in which one is completely unable to afford basic human needs such as access to clean water, nutrition, health care, education, and shelter. This may further extend to include inability to pay taxes, pay other bills, and support your church in tithes and offerings. That is definition number one. Definition number two, my dear viewer and listener, According to the World Bank, poverty refers to the condition where someone uh, lives below the poverty line. And in this case, poverty li line is uh, rated to be 1.5 1. 1. dollars. So if you are not able to get at least 1.90 US dollars, you are considered to be living below the poverty line. For those who live in Kenya, if we converted 1.90 to 115, that is the exchange rate, it will give you 200 and 18.5. So if you are not able to get 218 shillings, 0.5, according to World Bank rating, you are considered to be living below the poverty line. However, you might be getting 218, but you have uh, five or six dependents that will still pull you uh, below the poverty line. Uh, definition number three, community's definition of poverty. Our communities have definition different from the official definitions that we have uh, analyzed above. Most of our communities, it does not matter how much money you have. 
according to our communities, poverty is not measured against the lack of money, but uh, social status of a person determines what he or she is in the society. Among the Maasai's in Kenya and Tanzania, and among the Abakuria people in Kenya and Tanzania, one who owns huge domestic animals is considered to be man of substance, rich, one who is respected in the society. The issues to deal with the decent life, living in a very good, conducive uh, environment, a decent housing, uh, the, those don't actually matter. The last uh, definition, my dear viewer and listener, is a definition that uh, I coined myself. I am the author and the finisher of this definition. And this definition is quoted from the book Biblical Therapy for Poverty. Poverty, in my context, is failure to combine resources of time, talent, brain power, and the fear of God in a meaningful manner to realize sustainable living in normal circumstances. With all these four definitions, my dear viewer and listener, you are at a vantage point to make your decision to move forward and change your life. Because before you know what poverty is all about, then you cannot readdress it. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless my hearer so that he may be inspired of this definition of poverty. For this humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.